This is my dog, Henry. He's a smooth coat border collie, and nothing lights up his eyes more than when he hears this sound. For me and you, that was nothing more than the subtle click of the keyed ignition on the Varla Eagle One, an off-road electric scooter. But to Henry, that click means it's adventure time. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Henry, the Smooth Coat Border Collie. And I guess we'll also talk about this scooter. Henry is an active dog, and like most active dogs, they need to be taken on daily walks. But more than just a walk around the block for this pup, because if I don't give him something to do, he gets anxious. He's a good dog and he doesn't tear up the house, but he does start to gain weight and gives me the sad puppy dog eyes. You can call me lazy, I don't mind, but my dog ain't, and this scooter makes the best combination out of the pair, as I can just stand here and relax while he does all the hard work. I'm not a dog aficionado, but I would say Henry is about a medium-sized dog. He's muscular though and can go pretty much anywhere he wants, so I need a vehicle that can follow. Because Henry sees about 60% with his nose and 40% with his ears, he can be a bit unpredictable at times, which is why having something maneuverable that's easy to hop on and off of is such a bonus. For times he catches whiff of something that you didn't even know existed, it's nice to be able to quickly get around. That's some muddy stuff. This dog has fantastic traction, which is why the regen braking on the Varla is so nice. You'll be using it pretty much all the time during descents, which will save your brake pads in the long run. Yeah, he is also good at making short work out of steep inclines, which is why having the scooter is so nice. If I tried to follow him on this trail by foot, I'd have dropped dead a long time ago. Oh, here's another. Oh god, that's steep. Come on, baby. Oh, damn. She would have made it if it was just a little less wet or if we had the off-road tire. Lucky for us, Henry had the off-road option installed at the factory two years ago, so he's been good for quite some time. His suspension system's just about the same as the Eagle One. It's utilitarian, robust, but not designed for jumps and stunts. You'll never see this dog making big hops, but he smoothly glides over any obstacle on the trail. You look tired, buddy. I mean, I feel fine, but you look tired. 
Come on. Because summer in the south is the equivalent of living inside of a hot water heater, Henry doesn't get to do much during that time of year. And he's lost a little bit of his stamina and gained a little weight that he's been quickly shedding off over the past two months of owning this scooter. He will need a few moments to recharge after about a good one mile run, but no more than a few minutes tops. The Varla, on the other hand, can continue this terrain for many miles without needing to recharge. However, when it is time to recharge, it can take quite a few hours. I found I'll generally use about 60% of the battery on an outing like this, and it'll take about 4 or 5 hours to recharge that battery. girl. With a battery big enough in the Eagle One to power a 900 watt AC unit for over an hour, I don't have range anxiety. And as long as you give Henry a few moments to rest, neither does he. So this is a great combination. Having Henry for two years and this scooter for two months, both have been absolutely trouble and maintenance free the entire time. <laughs> it's kind of the most relaxing thing you can think of. You push them through the sketchiest of situations and know that tomorrow they'll do it all over again. To sum up, my only negative complaint about Henry and the scooter is the fenders. Can't quite get them to fit on Henry, so you don't want to be behind him on a muddy trail. And for some reason, the rear fender on the Varla is worthless. If you ride through a puddle or just a wet road, it does nothing to keep your back leg from getting absolutely soaked. Now, I'm not sure why, but I'll just take it off anyways, because all it does is rattle around and make noise. Other than that, I don't have anything negative to say about these two. The long-term review of Henry is still on the fence, so stay tuned and we'll be sure to give you some more information. But let's talk a little bit more about this scooter. Neither myself nor Varla in any way condone breaking laws. But should you find yourself in an undesirable situation being chased by potentially undesirable people, you can rest assured to know that they're not going to catch you unless they're on a vehicle of equal capabilities. As the ability for this thing to go just anywhere and fit in some of the tightest spaces is a uh, nice peace of mind to have. For instance, if you were to find yourself in the vicinity of a small explosive device that suddenly went off and you needed to vacate the premises quickly and silently, well, the Eagle One's got you covered. Not to sound cliche or overuse a bad meme, but the Eagle One just works, and it works every time you get on it. Turn the key and go. Explore areas in silence and be unnoticed that you've never been to before. It has capabilities that well exceed what you would possibly imagine a scooter could do. 
It's been an invaluable tool for walking Henry and getting him back into shape, and it's allowed me to be extra lazy and just enjoy life. And other than when we did our range test video where I was actively trying to drain the battery, I never worry about running out of power. So for whatever it's worth, I give the Varla Eagle One my seal of approval. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, ride safe.